You ready? Do you have like a list of like things that you wanna? We're just gonna roll. Yeah, yeah no, not really. Right. Improvise is always well, uh, well, Oh, okay. I should have worn my hat too. What was I thinking? Come on, bro. I'm so stupid. For the brand. I'm so dumb. What's cracking, big dogs? Welcome back to the channel. It's a different HQ than we're normally at, but this is the first official E Town Get Down weekly recap. We're doing this from now on. I don't know why it took us till week 10 to, <laughs> to, figure, to figure this shit out, but I feel like this is going to be money going forward. What we're going to do is catch you up on E Town Get Down League because I know that's. A lot of you guys' favorite videos throughout the summer, the vlog that we do, we do our live draft. It's a good ass time. You guys like it. So I figured, you know what? Let's get a little podcast. Let's get a little video recap going forward. Let's talk some shit. Let's go over the <laughs> trades. Let's give a breakdown of what goes on in our league because it's, it's a league that this is the 10th year now. Um, not everyone's been in it for 10 years, but we, the majority of us have been in it for at least three, four years now. And we all live in around the same vicinity. So it's one of those leagues that- we've Known each other since- Yeah, it's, it, it's, it's not just like over the internet or whatnot. So there's more that goes into it than just clicking a few fucking buttons on the screen. It's personal. It's personal. It, it is personal. It's personal. personal. And you know, it is getting towards playoff time, which makes things a lot more personal. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and uh, what we're gonna do today is we don't really know how we're gonna do this and we don't know what we're gonna do moving forward. So we're gonna need your guys' help to let us know what kind of segments you wanna hear, what kind of, I don't know, anything you wanna see from our league, the behind the scenes stuff, you just drop a comment down below while you're down there, hit that thumbs up button. <laughs> and, uh, and and we'll do that for you next episode and going forward. We're gonna do these probably, we'll film them every Thursday, day after. That being said, we gotta catch you up on what's going on in the league. Grab me that camera. This is gonna be a little bit of a ghetto setup here. Yeah. Showing you what's going on. So. We'll get more advanced as we go along. These are the standings right now. You, okay, well, listen. You can't start a recap of the league without going over who's in first place first. That's what we're doing right now, you cunt. Well, I'm just making it known. Okay, so. Stay hailing LaGreca. Should change the name for this. <laughs> I was gonna say, you might have to, you might have to explain the name here. Maybe by next week. I need to explain the name. <laughs> Him. Ironically, we have the top three guys here. Obviously, we're the most committed to the cause, so it makes perfect sense. And then can't just throw a fucking pick six. Really? Sorry. Got your man. <laughs> Cocaine biceps, baby. We got Salami Sam, George, and then we have a bunch of fucking bunch losers of all the way <laughs> down there. So, anyways, we got a couple teams at seven and two. We got four teams at six and three. Just like most of y'all leagues. There's still a lot of game left to play. So, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna talk about... Hey, you wanna catch them up on some of the, the trades or some of the action that's been going on in the league? That's, that's yeah, let's... You guys. Yeah, so we're gonna... We've had some big trades. We've had some big trades. Yeah, so normally, I guess, going forward, we'll kind of look at the matchups that happened in the previous week. We'll look at, like, me and Max play this week. So, once I beat him, he'll come <laughs> on camera and be like, oh, if I would have started the right guy, I would have beat Nick. Yeah. That's what we're gonna do going forward. But we gotta catch you all the way up. So, let's talk about trades, because that's always the most interesting, I think, part of the league. That tells how we got here. We've actually had a lot more trades this year than uh -huh. we've had in a lot of the previous and years. And they've been big ones, too. They haven't been like, big names, big yeah. names moving. Do you think that, do you think, I thought about this before we came here, do you think that the reason that there's more trades this year is because we're doing a super flex league and quarterbacks are in play, as opposed to when you're in a one quarterback league, teams don't really move quarterbacks well, ever. Yeah, quarterbacks are moving more. I traded for a quarterback. I traded for two quarterbacks. I saw that. I, that's, I the one, that's the one reason. I had James Conner, as we know. Picked him in the 17th round, which stupidly I could have kept him next Oof. year. But, uh, I remember when you made that trade. That was the only thing I was like. That hurts. Could yeah, be me, I'm going to bring yeah. up the trade. I didn't know exactly about that he was. I know he was in yep. 17th. And you know what? That scumbag D. Remember, <laughs> remember when he kept David Johnson last year? Or two years ago. Yeah. Two years ago. I fucking drafted him the year before just to keep him. But I needed a spot, so I dropped him. I remember that. And sure fucking enough, every single fucking time. Deech was, Deech was able to keep David Johnson and Jordy Nelson that year. Around keepers. It was early. I can explain myself. Yeah, it's very it's right there. Well, that's why it's not as bad as it seems. It's not like I traded James Conner in week seven. September 12th. Yeah, it was after the it first game. It was the first game. game. Yeah. The first fucking game. Okay. okay. <laughs> See, now I feel a lot better. I didn't realize that. <laughs> yeah. But, so his game up, he gave up James Conner, Alex Smith, Mark Ingram. Right? So, Mark Ingram. 
This was, this was after week one, we knew Mark Ingram was gone for another three weeks. James Conner, at this point, we figured only had about six more weeks left before Bell came back. If that. He got Lamar Miller, Cam Newton, Anthony Miller. who got, got double Miller time and he got Cam Newton. This yeah. is the Superflex League. So, looking back on it, I don't even think it's a bad trade. Really. I don't either. Especially since because Cam is very valuable. I mean, he's obviously not as valuable as Conner. No, of course not. And I had Alex Smith, who I didn't trust in, in now a Superflex League. I so. still haven't even broken 20 points this year, so don't worry yeah, about that. Yeah, yeah, so I'm not mad about that. that whatever. Mark Ingram... I, I saw a Kamara did week one, he put up 38 points. I'm like, there's no way this guy's not getting the bulk of those carries. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Of course not. Connor had a great week one. I'm thinking, how long is that going to last? Take them back, back and he takes him, everything. I so I was like, you know what? I know what I'm getting with Lamar Miller. He's going he's gonna to be solid. Anthony Miller, is in, whatever. Throw him in. <laughs> and, and, and Cam, I thought it was a major upgrade over Doc Smith. I don't regret it. The only thing that's gonna, I'm going to hate myself <laughs> for is next year during the draft when James Connors picked in the 16th fucking yeah. round. Yeah, that's gonna, that's gonna hurt. But. That was, I remember when we were texting back and forth and I was like, yeah, like I like the trade, but you were probably gonna be able to keep Connor next year. Yep, uh, and I, in hindsight, I wasn't even thinking about that. The thinking only thing that would kind of save yourself is who is your potential keeper now? Do you I, have have, one? I have a list of three. Oh, I yeah. have Nick Chubb. So I drafted Darius Geis and stored him on the IR. That's right, that's a no, great So one. you know what? So it was, it was like a, it was, you know, it was, it was a better, better for you. Was, and I got Galladay, which I'm not gonna keep him, but he's not, he's another option. Hey, you never know what you happens. You never know, you're season. right, you never you know. know. If Geis comes out, he ain't looking good, I'll, keep, I'll probably keep Chubb. I would, My at, order at right now. At this point right now, like if I'm you, keep Geis, Chubb. Geis I, I think Geis has been my plan. Dude, I, I, I was so high on Geis. I haven't seen him play, man. I've the, the seen him play at LSU. Just, That's all I needed. Uh, the second we started to, to keep around on drafting, because I, I was a big fan of him. And right now, I mean, Nick Chubb's got a great name. <laughs> He's also, keep, you're going to keep him on that? I, I feel like Geis is pretty also, fucking... Geis, 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 Geis is nice. Geis Geis is nice. Nick is my name. Nick is my name. You know, so, you know Chubby you're getting Chubb. to see a good body of work from Chubb now, whereas Geis is a mystery still. The guy gets yeah. 20 characters. How many chances do you want to take? I think you, you know. tweeted it out the other day. Who, yeah. There was like, only, three, over the last couple, over the last like three or four weeks, there's only about four running backs that have more yeah, that, carries than Chubb. Who's going to get the job in Cleveland? Who's going to run the ball? You know, we'll see Well, Connor is definitely going to be a better option. I would have kept him over the four, obviously. I'm not... Having those options, it makes me feel a little bit better. Yeah. And sleep I'm in first it. place with the most points. So. Yeah, you can yeah. Some, some, some's you don't have to even justify yourself when you can say that shit. So next trade up was actually between us. Yeah. So and uh, and when we're talking about this, I'm just gonna I can literally just cut out the pieces and throw it on top, so we don't, yeah. they don't even need to see the screen. Fuck y'all. I gave him Fuck Mike you. Evans and Royce Freeman for Jordan Reed and Devonta Adam. It's really funny looking back at trades because like. The analysis you think of in your head at the time is so yeah. fucking irrelevant now. Like, I'm like, oh, I don't know if I want to give up Freeman because he has a lot of upside. He's looking good. I was so excited. Like, you know what the kicker was at that point? I was like, Evans and Adams are a wash. They're both high end wide receiver ones. Yes. I was like, I need a tight end. So that's I was why so- I made that trade. I wanted Lindsay over Freeman. I don't know why I left both those in there. I know. That's I why I wouldn't have, have made that. the trade if it was Lindsay. If it was Lindsay yeah, and, well. instead of Freeman. Once you put Freeman, there was one that you gave like a future draft pick in too. Oh, I did some crazy shit. I was sending out. You sent me like fifteen. What happened <laughs> was, as soon as Rogers got that injury, I freaked out and said, if Rogers is gone, Adams is gone. Yep. I'm not going to watch Deshaun Kaiser. That's, 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 really it's a valid. I texted valid you day. during the trade, yeah, too, yeah, and I was like, yeah. I want to make this trade. I'm going to, I remember I was like, I want to wait one more week because yeah. I'm scared of injuries because not only is Jordan Reed inherently just an injury fucking concerned player, it's but, still alive, but so. yeah, I know, but he's playing, like, what, really that's what I mean. Like, it's crazy how it's like, oh, the downside of this trade with Jordan Reed is not that he got injured. It's just that he sucks right yeah. now. Like, Alex Smith sucks. It's so yeah, funny looking, the, looking it, back in hindsight. And you know what, though? I mean, you see that? I'm thinking of Alex Smith and Travis Kelsey the year before. He had a good connection with his tight end. Jordan Reed's a very athletic tight end. Mm-hmm. Why is he throwing the ball? Because Alex Smith sucks. He Alex, threw it to Kelsey. Yeah, but... Kelsey still had monster years. I think I think Andy Reid is the is the uh, uncommon... Oh, Jay Gruden and Andy Reid. It's, I mean... I get you. I get, yeah, I mean, I get what you're saying. It was, it was tough at the time. I, I It was fair for both Rogers of Rogers walked around like he got a peg leg. Yeah, that was that's why I was like I needed to wait one more week to see if he got healthier, like what was going on. So obviously, well, you accepted the trade right before they played too. Mike Evans, I was super nervous that whole game because mm-hmm. Mike Evans could have tore yeah. his ACL and that's it. I'm done. My whole season's over. What the fuck is that trade? Where Baker and Jordan Howard? Baker for Jordan Howard. Yeah, yeah. I, didn't, I didn't. Or uh, how the fuck did I, like I miss that. it? I mean, this was interesting because Baker, because Shane drafted Baker, so Baker can be kept in a superflex next year for like a yes. 15th round pick. Yes. And Baker's going to be a good quarterback when he gets a good coach. 
Oh. So I like Baker. So I like Baker a lot for the future. I think that's a good. I think that was a good trade. Trade gets him perfectly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that's a good coach. That's all I need. They got to bring the Oklahoma guy. Bring me. What's his name? Lincoln Riley. What a football name, huh? Yeah. So I think it'll be between Lincoln Riley. It might be between. The Tampa Bay offense coordinator, uh, Dirk, uh, not Dirk, not Dirk uh, Munker. Uh, I can't remember his fucking name. Yeah, I'll see there. I heard there. the uh, the QB coach from um, the Rams. Him? They were talking about too. I don't, I don't what know about him. Jim Bob Cooter? Isn't he up for a coaching job? Yeah, he's about because he's about to be fucking fired. <laughs> <laughs> he's going to be in line for employment. Yeah. Did, well, did you see when they first fired Q? What Vegas odds were? Who the coach was going to be? For, what was it? For the bracket. Oh, it was McVay. fucking Sean McVay. Plus two seven. He was like the overwhelming favorite. Dude, like, oh, that what? was absurd. Wait. I saw that too. Because I think I, I tweeted that too. Yeah. So when Q got fired. Yeah. Uh, I think like Sports Insight, the Action Network app or whatever it was. Okay. They usually one of the sports the lines books. Some of the sports books tweeted out Vegas early lines for next Browns coach. It was Sean McVay. Like plus 275. Yeah. Like wait, wait, what the fuck? Why? He was the favorite. And it was like you could have put money down on it. But who would put money down on that? I don't know, but like, why? I, I'm trying to <laughs> say, why did he he's from Ohio. He's from the, Ohio. The only, or something? the only, yeah, the only thing I could have yeah, thought about was that. And like, if the Rams win this year, no. he he could no no no. But if they win this year, I think about a lot of the um, the the cap space that's tied up there. Like they brought in a lot of superstars right now because. NFL teams, they have yeah, their windows. Yeah. If you can get a good quarterback that's young, you, you have a four-year year. window to a four or five-year window to spend all your fucking money yeah, on other players. Worry about paying your so that's what it is. And I, I, I don't know. I can't give a fucking real logical reason for why that would be the well, top favorite. But if he went, if he won with the Rams and then immediately went over to Cleveland and won with them, that would certify him as a an amazing, a great oh, yeah, well, history. That's that's exactly what I was gonna say. The, the talent that they have now, oh, they got the super team, whatnot. McVay deserves all the credit in the world there. Oh yeah, Jared Goff was. I mean, he had he had Jeff Fisher. We're not going to talk shit about Jeff Fisher. Jeff Fisher great was football seven, guy. Nine, great. eight, eight coach forever. Great totally football does. guy. Totally does. Sean McVay yeah. comes. Jared Goff's top what seven, Double six offense. quarterback. It was such a girly. girly. Yeah. The craziest thing might have been the whole line. How they went from like oh, the worst. Thank to, you. To get fucking Whitworth and boom. We don't mention top Andrew Whitworth, Whitworth's name in my presence, please. My <laughs> biggest thing in the NFL is offensive lines. I cannot stand like the Giants right now. I'm sorry to bring it up, but fix your offensive line. You, it's the number Max, I've been writing letters. <laughs> it's a lot of problems. I've been writing letters once a month for three years. Look, <laughs> 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 like, you think I'm one. kidding, too. I got copies of them. I got two responses. One from the GM and one from the owner. Yeah, man. Hey, listen. I, 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 I'm, I'm working my way into that. I put it in your hands. Yeah, why not? Jeez. Do you know what I would Make do? Make goals. Do you know what I would do with that team? Perennial Super Bowl. Convention. What would you do? Perennial <laughs> Super Bowl. This is a fantasy pocket. We'll we'll get into that. In a okay. <laughs> yeah. Let's keep running through the. I could fix that team in one. There all actually season. haven't been that many trees. Now I'm looking at it. Uh, what about the What about the great one, Derek? Just a little one uh, for, for Mitch and Big Blockbuster. Trubisky. Let's talk about that. I gave okay. him away for nothing. All right. No, and I, I remember that. Yeah, and I was like, I was like, I can't believe someone bought something from that. The fucked up part about it is, great trade. He still sucks at throwing the ball. He's hard. Horrible. Terrible. He can't. And you can. He's a keeper. Yeah, drafted no, by me. That's, that's half the reason why. I, I sold, I you know, sold him high. Came off a forty point game, and I got Derrick Henry. And you, you and I, dro I dropped him the next day. Yeah, I picked him up just <laughs> this weekend. Did you? Yeah. yeah. Derrick Henry might be the worst running back in football. Oh, he's terrible. I don't. Understand. He is so I don't bad. Understand? <laughs> I don't know if he's ever made a guy miss. It in is entire. He's horrible. Nice bad. Makes no sense. He's just a big glue. To run is he? Over. Is he worse than Trent Richardson? Didn't they both go to Alabama? Yeah. They did. I'm a huge Absolutely. Trent Richardson guy. <laughs> Why? I think he still has it. Trent Richardson's <laughs> first year is a monster. He needs an opportunity. He was. Where, where, where is he now? I think he's got to be playing. Not, I, think, I think he's dead. Is he in China food? <laughs> he's dead. Did he die? Is he in China food? He's got to be. Him and Eddie, La him and Eddie Lacy are lounging right now. Browns gave up on him too fast. Browns gave up on him too fast. Oh, yeah, you're right. I'm he went to the Colts deadline. All right. And then we had, okay. This is this is probably the most interesting trade of the year, in my opinion. What controversial involves draft picks? Okay. So we had the three players on the top. Wait, why does it say? Why do they all say Nick here? Oh, because I pushed him through as a commissioner. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so we had the last place person basically say, "Fuck my season. I'm gonna play for next year," giving up Kareem Hunt, Jared Goff, Michael Crabtree. But he got a second round pick in return, which is huge in a fucking redraft league, of course, right? If it's a dynasty league, it's whatever. In a redraft league, that's like you getting an extra 
Julio Jones this year, Michael Thomas, Christian McCaffrey, one of those guys on your team. And we'll get into the kid that did that. Exactly, yeah. and that's <laughs> what that advantage is. But, I mean, we do the best we can to kind of like close that off and make sure that doesn't happen often, and we don't let future draft picks being uh, traded, what is it, like, at week six? I think as soon as week five game starts, it's no it's no longer allowed. I think this was the week before right. the deadline. So yeah. we had, and you know what, you know what, just, out. just off topic a little bit, it's actually on topic, but in a different league, we didn't set a deadline for draft picks. So the one kid was five and four, still had a chance at the playoffs, but he's like, I'm not winning the team ahead of me, you're way too good. So he's trading off like Melvin Gordon yeah, for the, he, he can't do it. Yeah, yeah no, I'm sure you have a deadline. Can't That's do shitty. it. Well, like we fucked up, we didn't make a deadline, so it's like, what are you gonna do? Yeah, You're yeah. just gonna change it right now? The kid, do you have, kid do you beat have, the system. But yeah. 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 So yeah. The, 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 the kid, and there's season. season. It's like our league, it's like, it's like our league. There's two set guys that are gonna be in last. It's one or the other. Yeah. It's a dead race. So one of them got like Gordon, the other got like Connor for like third round picks. It's like. That's bullshit. You know, you don't wanna. Yeah. We over overruled it. We wound up coming to a conclusion that you know. Oh, so there you go. But it was a it was a shit fucking sandwich. Yeah, I mean, even if I'm like, <laughs> even if I'm zero and four, I don't know if I'm selling the house unless like unless your team is really really shit. Well, he wasn't putting up points at all. It's not like yeah, he was having he, close games. It was terrible. Yeah, and, and we'll. Uh, I, I'm, and we're he played. was playing him next week. He His next match him. Yeah. was him. And there's no way. We're gonna pull up the draft board later and, and look at some of the picks. People have made. Oh, and so. he tra- he was. Remember we my draft. We, we said what the fuck when he drafted Hunt. Like, he grabbed the cream Hunt. It was like fifth overall. And I remember it looking at you with the camera. And it was like. Who just went? Cream Hunt. I know we just had Cream Hunt going number six overall. Come on, man. First. I mean, like stupid me. Yeah, that was funny. He's top five pick now, right? I would. I yeah, would yeah, sure. yeah, It's oh, unbelievable yeah. player. Now, how do you feel about that? You, you, you're not even thinking about next year, right? No, I'm not worried about next year. You do realize if if you don't win, it's a, it's a waste. Oh, that's Obviously. the problem. Yeah. Well, so it's Jason. Jason didn't win. I'm not worried. And about Jason's it. gonna be in last. Jason's draft was very bad this year, and he also had the last pick. Well, he also got fucked by Fournette. Exactly. He didn't have a chance. I'm saying it didn't work out based off of injuries, and he had the last pick. He did. Last pick didn't really help him. And uh, that's right, because he missed that. He pick. also made a worse trade than me. Yeah, Evans. I mean, Evans for a second. That's that's. That was it. That was it, yeah. I got a lot more, and I got a 10th round pick. You got Hunt and Goff. I mean, and even Crabtree. I got extra money. I have extra keeper now. Too, yeah. Extra keeper round pick. Where was Jared Goff drafted? He's not a keeper eligible. No. Either. No. No, I think he was. I got Derek Goff in our NYC league in the fucking 15th round. Yeah, I got him. Remember that? I was my know, third know, quarterback. Know, that was sick. I think Goff was like six, seven, eight. By the way, eight. shout out to the NYC league. I, I fucking love you guys. Yeah. <laughs> I really. I can't do. wait to do that again. I'm really year, glad bro. I'm in that league, Lucas. I really hope you're watching, buddy. <laughs> or you know, you're talking into your phone with texts like this. Like, guys, like fucking god. <laughs> All right, we had Ingram for Stafford, straight up flip. Not much effect. Up so, to this point. It's me, man. I made a lot of trades. Yeah, you did make a lot. Oh <laughs> and you're also the next trade. Taylor Gabriel for Smallwood. It looked interesting at the time. Yeah, but I thought Gabriel was going to be something he sucks. Nothing came of it. Yeah. Small, small, um, fucking small cock. I wasted $25 <laughs> fan budget. They, they have seven really? freaking yeah. seven running backs. Yeah. I, I, just, I grabbed Josh Adams in I was, league because I, would, I mean, he looked good. Like, yeah, he could be good one week. Yeah. I was <laughs> drunk in California and I heard that <laughs> Jai was out for the year. I was like, ah. Twenty five. Wendell Smallcock, lady. <laughs> time your time to shine. That's funny. Yeah, and then the last trade that was made was between me and Deech. I gave Mac Keenan Allen, Vance McDonald for Travis Kelsey Clement. My thinking was one, I own Patrick Mahomes, so I, that Mahomes Kelsey stack is beautiful. The only like position that I really needed to shore up was tight end. Like mm-hmm. obviously I could use a better running back. I don't have an elite running back, but I would have had to give it up way too much to get that. Um mm-hmm. And like Mac, I picked up Mac a week before that on waivers. He blew up, and I'm like, I'm gonna get rid of him. Yeah, Keenan Allen's been too fucking inconsistent. I know he had everyone's I, like I all second half of the year. I'm like, fuck it, whatever. For you, it's a great trade. Yeah, I'm done with that bullshit. Mac's not a keeper. You don't have to worry about that. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Keenan Allen, was, and that's you know, that's Keenan Allen's the best receiver there, but he's he's not getting touchdowns. He's not getting touchdowns because Melvin fucking Gordon's been so good. Uh, all they do is give him the ball and fucking beast. throw it to him at that what, point. When did you draft him? Second on the way back on the turn. I was gonna draft him first, but Antonio Brown staring me in the face, and when you see Antonio Brown staring me in the face, you kind of gotta take him. You were what, eighth pick, ninth pick? Um, I think I was seventh. Seventh? I don't know. I was in that vicinity, but yeah. I can't believe I Greg Gordon on the way back. Yeah, I was telling you, I was like, I would have if I was in your position, I would have taken Gordon instead I was of between, Brown. I was between, I was between Gordon and Brown. Yeah. 
So when he came back, I was gonna go. I was gonna go. go I, here's my thought. I was gonna go Gordon, and then uh, that's where Jason messed Michael up. Michael Thomas on the way back. I'm gonna pull up the draft board. Right I mean, right there. That's in that's hindsight, right. I mean that would have even been better. But um, Jason took Fournette instead of Gordon. I stepped in shit. The third round is where I really. Yeah, you got yeah. Adam Thielen the God. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Max. <laughs> when Thielen's name comes up, my Wait. my face is shown. Go for it. That's fine. I wanted him, man. I am his number one fan. Him. That's hilarious. I blew that motherfucker up all, all season. The, I took Tyree Kill right before. That's what it was. Sorry. Which man. I can't. Hey, listen, I'm still happy with it. Nope. He's just a little. He's not Adam Thielen. He's not as consistent. He's not. Adam he Adam blows Thielen. up and then he's in, you know has a moderate week. Max, let's pull up our matchup and break right. it down. Speaking of which, before we do this. Yeah. We were just on trades. I had what I thought a trade with Jason in the books, but he went, he got cold feet, and uh, he said he's not going to do it. I was giving him, um, I was giving him Lamar Miller. You're getting Fournette? No. I, <laughs> I tried to get Fournette from him. Really? Uh, I, I don't even, even want to touch him. You know this what? was a while ago, and I was giving up like. No, I didn't even think of Fournette. I went, uh, this is when he was coming back like three weeks ago, right before yeah, he came exactly. back. I, yeah. I was giving up Lamar. Or that team. Chris Carson. Uh, Baldwin and, and Darius Geis. I was going to make my keeper decision easier for James White. Oh, and, uh, I tried to get James White from him. Yeah, I figured his team... <laughs> Jay, Jay, I love you and I'm sorry, but his team has no... It's like Jay, no depth. Jay, like, your team fucking sucks. I, I, I figured if I can give him three guys that he could plug into the starting lineup, that yeah, would, maybe that would not do the White thing, but... Fight for ninth. The breakdown between... Myself and Max between second and third place. This is a big. This is a big fucking this matchup. Is a huge matchup. Let's go, Derek. This is huge. So let me look at the benches too. Okay, so you have Latavius. Oh, yeah, but no one you would start though, right? Um, Latavius, if he if, cooks back, if Cook, so you yeah, went, exactly. Cook looked way better. He looked better. Um, no I one would, you would start. Maybe Crabtree. In the uh, over, in the flex over over, over Harris, Lockett maybe? or friggin' Morris I like, Harris. I like Harris this week. I don't know I if like he's Harris gonna be anything. Too. That's a, you know. but there's still Crowder's out again. Paul Richardson's yeah. on the IR. Like fucking. But he's a target right. monster last That's week. That's why I like yeah. him. a lot of targets. Yeah, my problem is definitely at running back. Yeah. At least compared to your. That ass. is some advantage. Look at Hunt Kamara. That is too. That's yeah, the Hunt Kamara stack is disgusting. It's my whole team. Arizona is like fucking. Arizona's the worst run D, and Cincinnati has been like one of the worst over the last fucking month. My running backs are like, they're good players, and they could go, like, I wouldn't be surprised if Aaron Jones matched. Miami's defense is pretty good stopping the run. Mm, they've been all right. I just, I don't know. I like the game script here. I think Green Bay gets a big, and I think they feed Aaron oh, I Jones. I think they're going to, for sure, after losing to the Patriots, he's they're going to come back hard. Better than, yeah. than, what's his name? Jamal fucking Williams. Williams. You gotta hope that. Who's, uh, a, who's a worse running back, Jamal Williams or Derrick Henry? Who's a worse coach, Mike McCarthy? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh well, I mean, uh, one's still coaching at least. Yeah, but because Aaron, Aaron Rodgers, Aaron Rodgers true. it's like asking like, if a Cavs coach is relevant because they fucking coach James, LeBron James. Dude, they didn't even give that guy a fucking season. Who? Ty Lue. Uh, Ty Lue. Six games, he's gone. Huh? No. <laughs> what do you mean? Yeah. He's yeah. Fired. Fired. Oh, well, he's been there. He's been well, there. Well, I mean, it's not he wasn't season. really coaching, though. This is his first season <laughs> yeah, coaching. Yeah, the guy that was coaching let his team, you know, he was wanting to be in the finals <laughs> with the Cavs. So, I just, you know, just want to shout that shout out Michael Jordan, greatest player <laughs> of all time. It's not even Open really, up a can of It's not even really a discussion. I don't want to talk about it here. All right. Yeah, I got it. Mm, you know what? You know what sucks? You know what's, You know who sucks? Fucking carry on Johnson is going to kill me. Oh. That's who's killing me, bro. Because he's, he's one of those guys that I got super fucking excited about. He had but a really nice week. You knew in the back of your mind that it wasn't going to last. Because as soon as Theo Riddick's ass got back in the lineup, Matt Patricia's fat ass <laughs> was going to be like, okay, let's get Theo Riddick in there because he averages four yards a target. And Golden Tate's gone now. Yeah. It's going to so, open up a lot more targets. Yeah. Like so, well, they might, they might throw Theo Riddick into the slot and keep Karrion Johnson more in the backfield, which I like. But, I mean, I don't like the matchup against Chicago with Khalil Mack back. I don't know. Who do you who who do you predict winning this matchup? I mean, my heart. My, see, <laughs> this, 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 this is a big issue for me because me and Max have a bromance in this league that is unbreakable. Um, but I can't root for him. However, based on matchups alone, I give him the edge here. Um, that Hunt Camara is just. I mean. It's a guaranteed it, like forty points. It's ridiculous. I don't know what I'm getting with Aaron Jones. He could. Like you said, the game script's there for him. Yeah. But he could easily David Johnson get McCarthy sure. and only get 11 touches. Carry on. Love him. But, I mean, against Chicago, Mac back. I think Carry on's probably going to be my lowest scoring player this week. 
if I had to guess. Mm. I think so. I feel good about the other two running backs. Yeah. I, I think David Johnson and, and the Cardinals fucking suck, but they're 17-point point, they're 17 point underdogs yeah, against exactly. KC. There's no way he's to. not going to catch... He might catch nine garbage balls for like 40 points yeah. for 40 yards or some garbage, shit. Maybe a garbage time TD. Yeah. He doesn't have a point going up the middle every every fucking play. Oh, my God. God. That shit drove yeah. me nuts. Sick, yeah. Which is good. Is that I like that I have the Goff to the woods here. So, you know. And, and you have Tyreek Hill. And, have Tyree and Sammy Hill Watkins is going to be and out. And Kareem Hunt for your Pat Mahomes. So. Sammy Watkins is going to be. That's going to be the game changer. It's like if Pat Mahomes oh, goes so to Kelsey so on two of his touchdowns again like he did last yeah. week, it's going to be huge. But Sammy Watkins out, you know, Hunt and Hill. Are, you I, I can't even watch that Sammy Watkins is a scumbag. <laughs> Why do you feel that way? Because he didn't do anything all year. I play against him. He has two touchdowns. I go, oh, this guy's gonna, you know, he's gonna be good. I bet like twenty dollars on him last week to score a touchdown. <laughs> I didn't even get a target. You love the player props. I love the player props. <laughs> he puts like three dollars on player props. Right? Like, he like nuts. parlays guys scoring touchdowns. I got five guys. I feel like Mark Ingram four touchdowns in this game, one dollar. Now two and seven. Are bucks. you are you at all concerned that Jacksonville's defense shows up? Um, aren't they coming? Aren't they coming off a bye now? They're coming off a bye, but they're Maybe still they without AJ back. AJ Boy, Boyer. their second cornerback. Um, and I I feel like they're missing someone else too, but I could be wrong. Either way, well, I mean, what's his name? Campbell's like in and out, right? He's not. Yeah, I think he's good to go this week. I'm not sure. I don't know. I'm not really too concerned nah, with that nah, defense. Yeah. To be honest, yeah. with you. I would, what I would be concerned is what your defense getting lit up. Yeah, I really would too. <laughs> I don't yeah. want to even tell you that, but no, that's fine. As a Giants fan, I know exactly. I can't play can. Jacksonville against the Kansas Luck. Andrew Luck's gonna put up thirty-five points. Doesn't matter who they play. That. What do you mean? He may put up thirty-one, but yeah, I don't know. Matchup-wise, I would I would lean Max, but it wouldn't know. surprise you. It would not surprise me. I could see I could see Woods Adams going off. Mm-hmm. Mahomes is gonna do his thing. If he goes to Kelsey, then it, that's that's gonna be that's the, double that's bag. Gonna be that's that's, that's right gonna be right there. Whether or not Mahomes throws to Kelsey or Hunt and uh, Terry yeah. Hill, I think it's gonna. It's gonna matter whether or not. I think my running backs getting in the end zone is gonna. I can I can see Ertz having a having a down week too. Yeah. Coming off the bye against I, Dallas. I I, I I fucking scumbag Dallas. I'll never say anything good about them. But those linebacks are fast as sin. Yeah. But Ertz is their is their. Ertz main is their guy. guy. Sean right? Lee's out too. You're right. Main oh, guy. Oh, well, well. <laughs> Sean Lee's out. The sun rises tomorrow. There. Yeah. <laughs> it's what do you got? Is you got anything good going on this? Oh, you got the oh, you got, got the some, first first fourth. What's going on? You got some points being scored. So we got both all four playoff teams. Playing against each other. I was this hoping week. we weren't. Oh wow, players. that's big. Juju, yeah. They got Nick's got Antonio Brown going against Juju right now. Um, Juju, you Jew. Oh, sorry. <laughs> We're staying away. You still got Thielen in your slot. Right. I don't. Um, wait, every I don't have a I don't have any money. So every guy that I've been picking <laughs> up, somebody's been yeah. getting. Dude, that's that's my problem. Problem. Just throw fucking Austin Eckler in there. Both of them are going to eat against. You know what? Honestly, that's defense. probably what I'm going to do. They're both both of those running backs are going to eat. It's going to be one of those games where they both play well. Well, well just, I'm thinking they just go. I'm Gordon gets 20 points oh in the first God. half, and then Eckler is the. The fact the that half. Breeze and Dalton are projected the same amount of points is fucking criminal because Cincinnati's pass defense has been abysmal the last few weeks, and Dalton without AJ Green is going to be fucking horrible. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's abysmal. I, I don't, I don't like my, I don't like the guys. Love Tyler Boyd really this week. Wrong. If anyone's got, how him. could you not? Yeah, <laughs> fucking hard. I tried to trade for, targets. I tried He's to a, get Tyler Boyd from what, her what a couple I'm, weeks ago. Uh, what time of year? What I'm banking on here. Is somehow, some way, Seattle's defense reverting to like 2014, the Legion of Boom, and shutting Gurley down to his projected points? You know, <laughs> you know who I think you need to be worried about? Mm-hmm. Definitely D. Lou. Yeah, he, he's gotten like 120 yeah. and 160 no, no. yards. He's getting like 20 touches Plenty a game. Plenty New England too. You know, they let up a lot of, you know, a lot of receptions can you, can you, to the running backs. Can you scroll down a bit? Yeah. Can you tell me who his backup tight end is? Jack Doyle. Okay. What? Why are you targeting Antonio Brown? Stupid. Fuck. All right, we're gonna we're gonna go back in time and look back at the draft board ten weeks later, and we're just gonna talk a whole lot of shit right now. <laughs> I'm gonna talk shit on myself because I know I fucking did something bad. I'm not. I had a great. <laughs> draft. I know. I did something bad. Yeah. I had a great. I had a great draft. I picked James Conner in the seventeenth round. I actually want them to see. So it saves basically every image or gift that you've put in. <laughs> in the group chat. <laughs> to this point. Did First anybody one. get my Grizzly Adam? Absolutely. Good. <laughs> We're just trying to pull up. I don't want the family. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, go up, go up. 
Go yeah, up! Dylan's family. Right. Dylan's family. Look, that's the charity he's been working on. I don't have time. Oh, the God. Oh, let's go. God, stop. <laughs> Mr. Mindu. <laughs> my, my you have the new God from Sopranos. Then I was eating the pussy when I was down there. That's incredible. Where is the drift? Fuck. Good lord. That's the only catch along the balls. I saw that. <laughs> Yeah, dude. No, don't. Love <laughs> 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 uh, that. I'm waiting to see like a nude. Thank God we don't do a uh, guess that ass still. <laughs> oh God, thank God. We should pick that back up. I don't, I don't think I was in on that, so I. I oh yeah, think, you never were. I would like to. Get I, in on that. I got in some trouble with that a couple times. <laughs> <laughs> I will right now. Dude, where the fuck is the drift? No, if you want, I can send it to the. Group there it is. Go down. Yeah. Got it. There you go. Well, right off the rip. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna put it up on the screen so the mic can pick up better. Right off the rip, the number one pick. <laughs> yeah, but no, no, but at that time though, Bell went number one. But at that time it was like two days before it's the season before started. You knew he yeah. wasn't gonna be there. Yeah, but you were hoping he's gonna be there in like week two, three. It know? was risky though, still at that time. Oh, super risky, and it cost him. But the thing was, like, even if you thought it was going to be week two or three, the fact that, like, at least at the time, you were like, these other th these other running backs are on par. Like, you should have made that shift. If it's not that big of a value switch between the four of them, you know? Like, I think a one or two game absence is enough to pull one of those other guys in front. I'm not doing it with the first overall pick. I'm not taking them. Oh, yeah, exactly. It's me. I'm not doing it. I'm not... I want to make sure I have someone on my first overall. With the second overall pick, you take David Johnson, right? Never. Damn. David Johnson was not even on my board. Really? Yeah. Because of the team? Yeah, exactly. Because of that's McCoy. It. So if he fell to you in the gonna... fourth round, you wouldn't have taken him? Well, obviously, but I mean, the first <laughs> round, no. no I'm Just because of the team. I was worried they I weren't going to be able to keep up and they were going to throw the ball out. Yeah. Yeah, dude. David Johnson was just like, it, this is one of those picks I look back on and I'm like, fantasy football is not that difficult. Uh -huh. It's like Todd Gurley. I think yeah, I know. my thing was like, <laughs> he's not that exciting. He doesn't have a high ceiling or floor. Can but, he do it two years in a row? But I'm like, dude, how, how, how can I look back and say he doesn't have a high ceiling when he's literally coming off a 19 touchdown season? Yeah. Like, it makes yeah. no sense. And they're in an offense that's amazing. So dumbass pick my me. Zeke Gurley. Yeah, whatever, whatever. Zeke has, you know, he's been. So the, so the funny part about this, the, the team in the 10th spot, Jaja, lost his second round pick. So he did what Max did last year. He gave away his second round pick to try to win it all didn't. in 2017. Didn't. So he didn't have his second round pick. So that Julio Jones went to I'm retired, whatever the fuck Joe's name is. So Jason not only took Jason. Leonard Fournette with his first pick, but he didn't have a second round pick. So he's basically playing. And he took a quarterback. Yeah, and if you just look at all of his picks, he went a quarterback, and then Joe Mixon's been hurt for a lot, a while. Al Robinson sucked, and has been hurt. DT horrible. Joe like, Mixon, when he's been in, though, has yeah, he's been, he's been awesome. He's been awesome. But the rest of his team is all he's hurt played, or shit. Played yeah. by injuries this year, and no surprise, he's zero nine right now, and mostly he, he just, may not win a game. Yeah, he may not win a game. There's so. actually a real strong chance he may not, unless he trades with James White. It's over. How would that help him win a game? Give him something. But, you know. <laughs> yeah. No, I just you're gonna help him out. <laughs> Isn't the trade deadline passed now? No. It's, it's this like Saturday. Two days, three days. Oh, it's yeah. the 10th. That's right. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, there's a big, like, orange. Oh, thing I keep thinking it was today. All right, so tell me now. I know you hated Superflex prior to this prior to this draft. Yes. I know you. this was your first year it doing it. It was my first year. I was you on board. You did it in a few drafts now. Yep. What are, what are your thoughts on it now? I love it. You like it, right? I love it. I, 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 I don't know how you can't. I think it's awesome. Yeah, I think it's just, I think it's a very, 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 I very, I very, very, <laughs> very good time. Is it a very good time? <laughs> it's a good I time. I wouldn't have liked it if we were still doing the six points like, like we did last year. We're What's doing it in the New York League. Crazy. That's six points. Holy fuck, really? Yeah, Excuse dude. me. Yeah. Are you serious? Dude, six points for passing touchdown and minus three for interception. I, I think that's fun as hell. I like that more than this. How did I, I not know like that? Yeah, with, with the super flex though. How did uh, I not know that? Oh my yeah. God, I'm in second place in that league and I didn't even know we had six point touchdown. <laughs> yeah. Dude, it's fire. Holy I remember shit. I remember Jared Goff, I had him on my bench in like week two and he put up like 54 mm -hmm. points. Remember that week he went for like 450 and five wow. touchdowns? Yeah, yeah, that's week. That's, yeah. I, that's the week when I wanted him. Big bench spot for me. That explains so much to be honest. Yeah. Wow. So. <laughs> that was interesting. Another rules. Oh my god, I'm so dumb. Yeah, it's funny looking back at some of these picks. And Look, to be honest with you, there's not that many like horrible picks within the first four or five rounds of our draft. Nashawn uh, McCoy was a guy I would never, I wouldn't go near. I'll call myself out on Derrick Henry, but I mean, I thought <laughs> he was going to be the main guy. Fuck Derrick Henry. 250 pound fucking asshole. That's what he is. Now we have a sample size of. Eddie Lacy, Trent Richardson. We have a lot of 250 pound assholes yeah. in the league now. I think it's time to give up on that. Max, is, that, that, is, that, is that a Kamara Adams Hill first three? Yeah. 
That's a pretty that's nice. Good. That's a pretty nice stack. Yeah, that's real nice. Except Devonte Adams when that that rivals my, that rivals my first three. Yeah, see that's the best part. Like I remember when I took Evans in the fourth, which that was lower than he fell in most drafts. And even at that, I was like, ah, oh, fuck, I don't want him. And a lot of people were like that. That was you, know, you should have just fucking faded him altogether. But the way you look at it is like the day after the draft happens. It was it was a late that's, fourth. At the end of yeah, yeah. that's a great pick. The day the after the draft happens, like the first game happens, the first quarter goes by, and ADP doesn't matter. Pick where you pick a player, it doesn't matter. Yeah, right. Values are done. That's something you got to take away from these fucking drafts. And that's man. what I got to start doing next in, into the drafts is not care so much about where I take a guy because yeah. I wanted Adam Thielen so bad. Yeah, but I didn't want to take him in the second round, or you know. That was that was just something that I tried to like take over from the year prior because I did a lot of that. I was like, oh, I should just take guys that fall to me, good value and shit. This year I was like, nah. Like for Diggs, for instance, was going at like the end of the third round, sometimes the early fourth round, in a lot of drafts. I wanted him. I mean, he hasn't exactly panned out how I, I wanted. Took Diggs in the second where I took Adams. Right. So I mean, like, <laughs> I almost that's, did it. You know, you got to get your guy. I throw IDP because you want your guy, you take him, and especially if you're at two or you're. at Eight years the yeah. Jack. You Can I take. ask you something? I know you loved feeling, well, but like you know how I know how you are as a person, and like <laughs> when you start riding something, like you you it's make a, it a point, like a too, principle. You're too, like, too I, this is my guy, and I'll die with him. Yeah. Yeah. Was there ever a point where that's what happened with Thielen and you're like, fuck, I've said it on camera so many times that I need to take him now? I had no choice. <laughs> no choice. <laughs> I had no choice. <laughs> like, just for instance, like you know, the, mine, right? yeah, the impossible happened, and it was. Saquon Barkley or Adam Thielen right there for me. I, there was I would or no Kareem Hunt, a known commodity, whatever it was, I would have taken Adam Thielen. <laughs> you would have taken. I would have went to my grave. Like I don't doubt that because that's why I asked you because you are like that with with like it was well, that, That's why you have LeGrand for the first like five years is because <laughs> you talked about him and I would tell you how much I hated him. So yep. you've been riding fucking LeGrand's name. I haven't got off that fucking band. Yeah. Love LeGrand. Love. Funny. Wish we could get him here. Yeah. So but it's so true. Hey, Don, if you want to come by. Donnie, you know where to come. No, you're a local Jersey guy, so yeah. I, uh, I, 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 I think I texted him maybe like three, four <laughs> times a week about Thielen. That was funny, dude. That was funny that you went and liked. Uh, I'm gonna pull up the. I'm gonna pull up the Twitter comments. Oh yeah, who the fuck? Oh, I can't wait. He texted me uh, like ten texts in a row talking about Thielen. He's like, I'm gonna throw up. I'm so nervous. What happens if I don't get Adam Thielen? <laughs> and a bunch during the draft. This was before our draft. Before the Italian like day, day <laughs> talking about Good it, afternoon. I tweeted out the picture. I screenshotted it, tweeted it out, and a bunch of people were like talking shit underneath the tweet, like, mm -hmm. "Oh, you want the Vikings' second best wide receiver?" And he goes back like two days ago <laughs> and starts and starts replying to all of them and liking their comments and shit. And then like one guy, one guy's like, uh, he's like, "You're gonna win this league because you got a bunch of idiots." Yeah. And then I like replied back, "Yeah, first place, most points, Adam Thielen, bitch." <laughs> <laughs> I said, "Sign up." Can we take to, Can we take a minute and look at like? I know there's not a lot of good draft picks in the in the. Well, actually, I fucking nailed the 12th through fucking 16th rounds. But if you look at Eric's team, Eric is the third column. His last who's who's that? Is that? Uh, it's, oh my Taylor, god! Taylor, oh Eric's my god. last like eight picks. I'm gonna read off to you. Actually, you know, it's almost the last ten I feel picks. Like Eric's team is as good as it is. Ty Montgomery, dude, it's not. His points it's are like not, not there. It really isn't. Ty Montgomery. I love you. Eric. Pierre Garcon, Tyrod Taylor, Kyle Rudolph. Here's where it gets good. Samaje P. Ryan, <laughs> Theo Riddick. Snap on you. This, is, this, is, this is where it gets good. Two defenses in a row. Shout out Eric for taking the Bears, though. Yeah, Eagles, really. Bears, Josh McCowan, Teddy Bridgewater. He took two quarterbacks right. that were backups to start the year. They were backups, backups to start the year. And he was trying to tell me that it was for keeper purposes. Josh McCowan <laughs> may be dead <laughs> before be next season. Might be coaching next year. Oh, oh my god! Listen, Eric has done some questionable things over the the course of our tenure in this league. Didn't even take a kicker in like the eighth round. Wait, hold on. Yeah. Yeah. is so. Mac is keeper eligible? Yeah, he is. Look at that. Oh, Fuck. No. You fucked up, son. That's fine because I get to pick between Carry On, Robert Woods, and Aaron Jones. But like, I didn't realize that he was keeper eligible. Ravens D. Good keeper. <laughs> yeah. Love a good defense. <laughs> Jordan Wilkins probably. Damn, I didn't even realize that. Oh, I would have had too many options. Look at the seven look at my seventeenth pick. That's gonna make me sick. What James Conner? It's gonna make me sick. Fuck. Wait, who ha oh Deach. Mm -hmm. Deach has him too. He's a fucker to ah. He's gonna take that one too. Yeah. Well, maybe he'll take Mac. No. Maybe they re-sign Bell. Who knows? Maybe they come to a peace yeah. agreement. Yeah, maybe uh maybe Le'Veon uh, signs for, for a team friendly deal for causing everybody in Pittsburgh so much stress. I what do you guys think is gonna happen right now with if Le'Veon Bell he's gonna return. He's back in Pittsburgh now. Honestly. He has like four days to return to I the don't team. Think, yeah, but is he gonna sign? So. I don't think he's gonna do it. I don't I don't I, think, I don't see him playing this year. He's gonna hold out. 
No, he, he no, can't though, because he can't go into free agency. He's, he doesn't he needs come to back play. in the next Which is, by the way, the stupidest rule. You can sit out till week 10, no. be active for six games. He, has, he, has, he, has, to report. he has to report. He has to report. He has to report. Within the, no. He can't, to be yeah. eligible for free agency next year. He needs he has to, play. to That's why week 10 was always like the marker. That's why everyone was I like, thought he could just not play and sit out and then go free agency. Uh -uh. No. And like, Otherwise, he would have done that. Mm. No. He wouldn't have played if he didn't have He's not going to play then. That's the thing. I'm asking what, what you guys think is going to happen. So you need to ride Connor. That team's going to be. You have to ride Connor, but no, dude. I think I think they will. Like, put you him can't in the have slot a talent stuff. Right. Put him on the slot, yeah, put him yeah. out wide, because they run a lot of four wide receiver sets. Yeah. So I can see them using him out wide, but you can't have someone like Le'Veon Bell with okay. his skill set and not have him catching the ball. No. He's one of the best receivers I have him out there. He's I mean, Matt, Connor, you can't you can't take any in between the tackles uh, carries away from. Connor. What's going to happen is Connor's going to get hurt. And then Bell's going to be right. Th think? These things always happen. It's yeah. They happen for some bad reason. And it's going to be the downfall of the Steelers year. Because the line's not going to block for Bell. They're going to cut. Oh. I want to be there. I want to be <laughs> I want to be there when Bell walked into that locker room for the first time. I would kill to be a fly in the wall. That's going to be weird, dude. I'd kill to be a fly in the wall now. Same. Oh, yeah. They hate him. They publicly ripped him. What's I'm saying? The offensive line too is the most important thing that you need they when you're all, running back. They all ripped him. I I don't yeah, see how it's gonna work. The whole line hated him. All the, like Antonio Brown and shit had his back. Oh yeah, I mean, well, and like Bell would send out tweets every once in a while, like James Conner with like the yeah. muscle emoji, like bro. Get the fuck out of here. You are. He was so mad. James Conner's ripping it right now. Because he just so showed crazy. that it's well, fucking because his replacement really made him look bad. Yeah. Sorry, he'll, be, he'll be a Jet next year. He'll. You think? Yeah, the Jets. You know, maybe the nine. The cap space to waste. Why not? Oh, yeah, that's true. If you're, if you're I would have said that. I would have said the Colts until Mac blew up. Yeah. No team should pay Levin Bell. No. That's the thing. I still don't think wherever he goes, he's gonna get paid like he wants. I think he will. I, don't, I think. He's I think all the, the Jets will. The Jets will. Pay. I think there's not, all it takes is what? one dumb man. Do you know how many dumb? He's like sixteen million a year or something stupid like that. Dude, like the team's been like Paul Richardson, sixteen Same. million a year this offseason. Yeah. So wide receiver at least. Sucks, <laughs> but, but, but that's what that's all you gotta look yeah. at it though. Well, what, what, what did Gurley sign? What did Gurley sign for? I think he's like what's 16, his annually? What's he sixteen mil or something like it that? It wasn't that much more than what Bell was offered, and now he's that's too, out. That's, that's the that's the crazy part about it. He's like Bell was offered like the highest fourteen contract. or fifteen. Yeah. Well, yeah. He's and he's now he's willing to so so think about what does he want a th four year contract? Yeah, three four years yeah, whatever. So, so, so that's seven mil that he lost already this far, right? Is if you tack that onto a yearly contract. If he was getting offered 14 or 15, that would make it, you know, that would put him at the whatever mark. And now, and if he gets offered that 15 or 16, now you can pull it back down to 14 or 13. Like, it doesn't make sense. No, can't can't do touchdown. So I mean, can't touch touchdown. Can't grow up. I didn't see it. Matt, you fucking numb nut. It, it had to have been. When the fucking see Matt run the ball in? Yeah! yeah! <laughs> wow. Well, who's on defense? That's big. No one Revion, let me tell you something. You are so fucking stupid. And I know he watches this shit because he's got nothing else to fucking do. <laughs> Piece of shit. Blood yeah, out. he really looks bad. Mm -hmm. But then again, I mean, like, I get why he's doing it, but... I'm like... I... Dude, you're making... As I grow older... Millions here. What as I grow... About? But Max, they don't give a shit. They don't give a shit. I mean, they you don't have them. Tom Brady's that take $10 million so that the Patriots can build everything else. Yeah, but he's also got a supermodel wife as well. I don't think Giselle's that hot. She's not. Overrated. She's, oh, she's super overrated. overrated. Super overrated. But she's worth a lot of money. So mm, that's true. Plus, Tom's got Uggs and endorsements and all that shit. Levin doesn't have endorsements. What does he have? It's true. Stephon Diggs has endorsements. Well, but that's what I'm saying. You, got, you, you, you guys got you got you got guys on like NFL Live and stuff being like, oh, you can't do this to your teammates, stuff, blah blah blah. Yeah. I mean, he's also trying to take care of himself. Yeah, I mean, oh, that's why yeah. he yeah. knows he's a running back. That's one why I get it. He could be shot, but I that's why it. he's also an idiot for turning that deal down. But he also he did. did they offer him a long term deal this year, or was it? Dude, they offered last year. I, wasn't it five for seventy? Yeah, yeah, it was like seventy million. It was like seventy million over five years. And it, it, it was like you're not going to get. So it's the highest. Like, the highest for a running back. The problem was he was franchise tag and he didn't want to sign it because you know he only gets the one year and then if he gets hurt he's fucked. So I get that part. But if he's offered a long term deal, yeah, I, mean, I don't know what you're doing there. Obviously, but. yeah, they don't need him now. Um, what else we got on the fucking draft board? Anything good to talk about? We can talk shit about my ninth round pick if you want. <laughs> the Jaguars. <laughs> That's amazing. That's the thing. It's every year. There's always one defense that performs really well. Everyone, someone drafts them early. It's usually Eric, but I think I think the fact See, that you took the Jaguars earlier made him pivot and go two defenses. How that about was, how about Emmanuel Sanders in seventh? Love He's that. turned out pretty fucking good. Huh? Yeah, it worked out well. Any team that I have Sanders on is doing well this year. Yeah. Well, because Sanders is the number one Denver. Does he worry you guys the rest of the year? Worry? Yeah. 
I'm no. kind of having some some troublesome down the court. Um, really? Which I think the, I think the Broncos are going to be the Broncos are going to be in trouble. Yeah. yeah. In the next couple. Of weeks. I think I think his uh, I don't think I think his ceiling is fine, but I think his floor is getting lower. And as I, yeah, that's lower. what I mean. I didn't like. He's, what he's I saw popping up with week. more of these like four for forty games and mm-hmm. shit like that, where you're used to like the seven for eighty as is kind of norm. I mean, so I can see that. Try to feed Cortland Sun a little more. He's getting me nervous. And plus, Case King. Shitty that you guys got fucking Chad Kelly. Got I'm him. so upset about that. Dude, I want the Giants. A lot of people were high on him. A lot of people I were, loved him. Yeah, thought he could be a player. Loved him. I wanted to see it too. I, I thought he could take over. I, I picked him, him up in one of my in a deep super flex league. I'm in. I, I, I get it. Like, you know, I love, don't I break into people's that. houses all fucked up. <laughs> I get it. Don't do that. It's not right. You shouldn't do that. But like, dude, some of these guys do way worse shit, and they're fucking still on teams. They still get to play. Kyle Lutz is just like proving it a lot. You see what a lot of did my. Uh, well, didn't he just like talk some shit though? He didn't do anything. What he do? he like he like blew through. Traffic violation didn't stop when the cop told him to. I don't know. He's uh he's from. Did you watch any college ball from him? Like, do you, how, how, I, I don't know. Senior ball. No, I, I, that's yeah. The senior ball's right. He and tore the, the senior ball off. Nah, he was good. really. The Broncos good. liked him yeah. a lot because they. Were the Patriots were they. There was they when, Patriots shot each other up and got him the fourth. When's Kyle? Um, they got a city life soon. Yeah, yeah, I would done. say I would probably say Typically. after this week, yeah. Yeah. he's going to start getting up to speed. Well, if you guys don't beat San Fran, he's next week. Yeah, you have to be but I think, I think they're going to beat San Francisco. Well, you say you have to. I don't want them to. You need to let Nick Mullins be. No, I can't say that. I want the Giants to win because <laughs> deep, deep down, I know the Giants are going to rip off eight in a row and, 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 and win this yeah, division. Dude, I played, I played fucking Nathan Peterman in a league last year. It's, it's a dynasty league. It's a dynasty league. I had Andrew Luck on a bye, Jameis Winston, Ryan Tannehill, Hurt. Bench. And you played Nathan Peterman. Dude, when you're in a when you're in a fucking Ooh. dynasty league, there is nothing on the wire. Yeah, yeah. It was cool. Peterman and it was Mullins, and we didn't know Mullins until the day of, and I was like, I, I just didn't you get to. It. You can't to do it. I ended up winning that game some fucking how. Peterman didn't help you. It's uh, it was like six point pass touchdown and like twenty yards for a point, so it was like the most boosted QB points you could have, and he ended up with like ten. And I was so thankful for that. <laughs> like you got lucky with that. It was huge. That's yeah. crazy. He is the worst. Quarterback ever, right? They were saying, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. The, I think statistic, so, yeah. yeah. They were right. saying that he could have, if for the first like fifty pass attempts of the season or of his career, if he had just taken a snap and spiked it into the ground, yeah. he'd have a higher QPR than he has. That's so sad. <laughs> See, and, Peter and, God, and, I fucking love the girl. Am I too nice of a guy? Money. I feel really bad for him. I don't. I feel really bad for him. <laughs> <laughs> I feel, him I feel bad from like a personal standpoint, but like he has no business. He's, he's, the Bills have no business having him on their no, roster. No, yeah, that's, 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 just, that's just terrible. They also drafted Josh Allen, who's going to be one of the worst quarterbacks ever, too. Oh, Fox and Lynch 2.0. Dude. Who'd you say? Yeah. Oh, he's that was oh, such yeah. the easiest call ever. People are like, oh, sorry. Sorry, pardon my take, guys. I, uh, DraftJoshAllen.com. Uh, DraftJoshAllen. He's got big hands. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh man, but I don't, I don't, I don't know. He, um, the, the Bills are in limbo. How Bills Mafia didn't kill Nathan Peter and just be honest. My, I Bills Mafia, you got <laughs> soft. I was gonna solve last year though. Dude, what is happening? I haven't seen anything with the Bills Mafia on like on social media this year. Have you? I'm no, no not really. It's, it's been, it's been. Uh, I, feel like I guess they're they're in a rebuilding year. Last year they're all just kind of hammered. But nothing, like that makes them. I feel like better. Like last year, every week it was like someone taking a shit and lighting a fire on someone's fucking they, chest. They, yeah, I don't know. They were in, they were in like contention. Yeah, but I haven't. Seen, yeah, I guess they right. were in the playoffs last year, right? Yeah. yeah. So I mean, I don't know how they had a lot of shit to celebrate. I guess I just felt like they would just bring the noise either way. The Bills are playing at at uh, New York this. Yeah, it's Jets. My life. Darnold City. Yeah, fuck yeah, Darnold. His foot injury. Fuck Darnold. He's a pussy. He ain't ever gonna be good. You just you're just upset he's not a giant. Not true. <laughs> <laughs> I have Saquon. I yeah, heard. he's gonna be gonna be good for your team for four years doing nothing. No, I disagree. I think running backs have a longer shelf life than that now. No, I think when uh, guys like James Conner can come from nowhere and just be a great running back, you don't need to draft. Him. Oh! Yeah! 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 No another, flag! No flag! Is that another pass? No flag! Can't believe I said that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. LJ, you're a lucky motherfucker. I think I'm playing LJ, right? I'm definitely playing. Fuck oh, yeah, you, I'll, LJ. I'm playing fucking Mike, and he, I traded him. Wow. Oh, L. But Mike's team is unbelievable. Yeah, Steelers look pretty good, huh? Mike's like fucking yeah. Panthers D is whack on the road. Mike, Mike's like my whole team is on a buy. He's like, I look at his lineup. He still has Antonio Brown, Todd Gurley. Like, I'm like, who the fuck is he on a buy? I just, so what I, are you talking about? I, I, my trade with him is so bad. I what, somehow, was, what was the trade? I don't even remember. Yeah. I think I dropped two of the guys. <laughs> really? Legit, yeah. No. But I won five in a row from it. 
Yeah, no. I, <laughs> I don't know. I, I, my first two picks, my first three picks, were Brown. I'm sorry, this is not E-Town. Um, Brown, Beckham, Howard, all off my team. Oh, yeah? Dude, all off my team. I loved that move you made. Tate for Howard? No. Uh, White for Beckham? That's fucking relevant. Yeah, I get for Beckham, dude. I love I that. loved it, too. I love that. I, I see Beckham. He's going to quit because he's a little... Bitch. Oh, I hate it. I hate it. And, up and then they're gonna see Eli. Not Eli's good, but like just a mid-season quarterback change is never it's a positive thing for, no. for a wide receiver. So yeah, I thought that was good. And I remember like someone, one, someone in the league was texting me like, "Oh my god, like what happened with that trade?" And I was like, "Dude, I'm, good, was, I'm all in on, on the what, white side." When he when he said that, uh, who was it? James? I think it was James. James yeah. yeah, it was James. He's like, "You want to do Beckham for White?" I said, "Yeah, send it." Right away. I didn't even think. You you gotta you gotta yeah. think. You gotta you gotta think about it though, because otherwise, if you say it too quick, they're gonna be like, wait. I know, I know, I know. I know. Luckily, uh, luckily, he was he was all over it. I, I was like, well, they Mike Brennan is already Mike took, Mike, oh, took yeah. <laughs> Mike, <laughs> Mike took advantage of me. But most people will say it, and then if you say yes, they won't actually put it. Yeah, well, I'm set, I'm I like to send my yeah. trades. Yeah. Oh, Chris, 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 yeah, you, Chris, you're a motherfucker. You are bro. a motherfucker. We had so many deals on the table <laughs> that you said yes to, <laughs> and you in, just in fucking. On the like, this is bullshit. Yeah, That's right. a shit we don't need. You gotta have the scent in there, ready to go. Yeah, Chris, you know what? You're allowed to come next year to New York City for the draft. You're not allowed to be in the league though. You could just hang out. You could referee. <laughs> you could maybe throw the flag. You can, yeah. You could throw the you flag. You could rub Lucas's feet. <laughs> <laughs> Lucas, the guy. All right, we're gonna wrap that shit up right here. Let me make sure this thing's still rolling. <laughs> yeah, we are. All right. Well, thank you for joining us for the first ever E Town Get Down Weekly Recap. We will do this every week into the championship week and we will pick it up next year and we will pick this up until we're fucking 40, 50, 60, until some of us are in the grave. Until we're paying 10 grand to be in this fucking league. I think league the league. punishment should be yeah. death for one person. Well, I'm going to try. I'm oh, going to throw that year. I can't even tell him what I want my, uh, I'm still, I've been pushing hard for this one punishment. Dude, I, I actually, I don't I know if we can I put can't. that. I have a job. Uh, I can't. True. Yeah. Don't put that. I could put that, but I'll, I'll do it later. And any to, any Adam Thielen loyalists out there, um, at Nick His Door is my Twitter. We could talk about him, um, how he's doing for your team, Adam where you are, uh, anything like that. So he'll tweet the, le the link out. He'll tag me. Uh, any Adam Thielen supporters, um, just hit me up. Yeah. My DMs are open. So you heard the man. I definitely won't be linking that in the description. <laughs> yeah. No one uh, really cares about Adam When he Thielen tweets out this video, I'm going to be the first comment. Look for me there. Okay, you'll be able to find me. I'll, I'll link all that in the description. If you enjoyed, thumb it up. If you're listening via podcast rating and review, y'all know the deal. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. And suggest some, uh, some, some segments down in yeah, the comments. Yeah, let us know some topics. Yeah, let us know what you want to hear, what you don't want to hear. And, uh, and we'll make sure to do right by y'all. That's it. Peace. Oh, you want to see my notes?